for the first two years that we were a band, we were in college. And we both worked part-time jobs in retail stores. We moved in together into a dorm at Lindenwood and um, we had all of our music gear together and we both kind of liked uh, more aggressive music than what we were playing, so we just jammed a lot. When we started the band, we thought it would just be playing these stupid shows in our dorm that were just kind of like slaps in the face to our college, mostly. Um, we broke every rule possible. Sorry, Lennonwood. When we started it, it wasn't intended to be like, this is going to be our new band, because we were already in a band. So uh, we started writing a few songs, recorded an EP in the dorm room at Lindenwood. I think it was seven tracks, uh, bass and keys, and we produced it all ourselves uh, and released it online and got a pretty positive response. And then we did another dorm show and made some physical copies and gave them all away. <laughs> School seemed like a joke to us. Um, I don't know, it never felt very hard. And we'd go, we'd play shows in the middle of the week, uh, like three hours away, and we'd drive back in the middle of the night and go back to class at nine in the morning, you know? Um, so we never really took our jobs, our school that seriously. We were kind of like, okay, well, we'll just keep playing music because it's really fun. So we wrote our first album in six months, you know, full length which is unheard of for a lot of bands, but we had so much time to do it. And whenever we released that, that's when things really started to pick up and people really started to notice us, especially in St. Louis. So we released the EP in January, and we released the first album called Heavy Hands in September of 2011. And then uh, we played a big release show, people in St. Louis knew about it, and I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of pitch it out on the internet to some blogs that I followed. So he responded, hey, I really like a track from your album. Can I post it? And I was like, of course you can post it. Uh, and a couple days went by and then he started emailing, emailing me again. He's like, I noticed that you self-released the album. I'd like to put it out on my label, Afternoon Records. So the first nationwide tour we went on was um, uh, May of 2012, so it was four months after our album came out on uh, the record label. We went on that two week tour up to New York as far as Massachusetts. And we came back through uh, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indy, Chicago, Minneapolis. And it was a blast. It was like the best time we've ever had and we really got addicted to touring and like fell in love with being on the road. And um, it was amazing. It was the first time that Vince Napoli, our merch guy, came with us. And we played at some super weird places. We drove all night. We played in a barn. It was awesome. To pieces. Two thousand thirteen was a big year for me. I got engaged in March, started my internship in April, then we recorded in July, and then I got married in September. 
And then I started full time at the same place on salary where you have to be there like 40 plus hours a week in that October. After John got married, things started to get more difficult. We were still just as passionate as ever before. It just was more difficult. So we had to try a little bit harder and focus a little bit more uh, to stay in the game. I think when we were still in college and we were playing a ton, there was never a time when we would not have a show booked, when we, there wasn't something else on the horizon. And this was the first time that I was like, you know, there's going to be a time where we don't have another show booked and nothing's going on because we have all these other responsibilities. So moving forward, Eric is also engaged. I'm getting married in May and I'm gonna move to Los Angeles with my wife. And so that's gonna be it. Uh, it seems like there's, you know, the, um, the clock is running down for volcanoes and we both wanna make the most of it while we can. We're still playing shows. We just played our album release show. It's unfortunate that I have to stop playing with John. John's one of my best friends in the whole world, you know, and we have a blast playing together. But for the next eight months, we're gonna do what we can. We've just started writing new music and that was like so energizing. I would want us to genuinely still be passionate about it and not feel any obligation to keep going, which I believe that we still have. And you know, we just started writing new music just the other day and it was awesome. And um, I think as long as that's there, that we can just keep going until you know, it's not possible anymore.